Hi everyone, this is Ita with Ita Thoughts, and I'm here to share with you guys the inside of this mini book. Uh, the name of the mini book is Beautiful Wings. So let's have a look. Here I added these um, copper and brown feathers here, and then I attached a handmade satin fabric rose on top with a cluster of crystals and um, pearls here in the center. Here we have this vintage looking corner. It was, uh, I then um, used hemp cord here to bind all the pages together. Uh, and I knotted it up quite a bit to give it this look. Which I thought um, the hem cord complemented the brown shade of the paper bags and the chipboard on this book very well. Here's the bag. We have a little birdie with my uh, personal information here. So let's have a look. Comes off like so. It's a very chunky book. And let's have a look. Here we have plenty of room for journaling or pictures. The sentiment there says follow your heart. Um um, this little bird is actually made out of a fabric softener sheet <clears throat> that I used and and then um, I ironed it out and glued both the back and the front of the dryer sheet with a uh, Mod Podge. I let that dry and then I stamped the image <clears throat> and fussy cut it and just added some uh, homemade uh, glimmer mist to give it some little sparkle there. Really cool. I never uh, expected uh, the fabric softening sheet to come out so good. Here we have a little picture frame um, with another um, hand-drawn um, little birdie here this is the tag with the vintage button there <clears throat> here's the bad part how cute is he this little doily here with some tool the sentiment there says laugh and again we have another uh, fabric softening sheet here, another bird. This little page was made out of um, a regular tea box that I uh, cut apart and turned into this page. And I added this little tag with another stamped image of a bird there's the other side here we have another songbird you can never tell that, that used to be a tea box. 
have some more tags. Another birdie. I watercolored the butterflies here. This is a little metal flower. On here you can um, pinch up some tags or a picture. Uh, the same thing here. These were left like this so that uh, they can hold down whatever you decide to put in there. Here we have a metal butterfly. Another picture frame with acetate there. This here, I made this little roll set out of a plastic bag. Some sequins there to give it a texture and dimension. We have a little birdie on a bird cage with some feathers. This is a vintage button. Um, and then I put this little face on top of it, it's dimensional. Oops, wants to fly away. <laughs> Here we have some tool and then I wire wrapped some beads on it. it looks really cool. This sentiment there says dream big and laugh hard. It's a matching tag. With another picture frame. We have another little face there. This is a bird cage um, that I cut out freehand. A little ribbon, some tool. You see a little butterfly there. Some lace. There is tons and tons of space in this little mini book for pictures and journaling. We have the ribbon rose with the vintage uh, button there. The sentiment says lovely. Have a dragonfly there with the vintage button center. I love these dragonflies. They were stamped and fussy cut, and then I uh, watercolored it. Another picture frame with some acetate in the inside. Here we have some more of those. Uh, Fabric softeners, uh, dragonfly there. 
this uh, you can't really see the texture of this but this um, is actually tissue paper that I mod podged on top of a um, I think this is the other side of the tea box here and then I distressed and stamped the back the dragonflies in the background there and I put the a white sheet of tissue paper on the top and it made it uh, gave it this water mark look very very cool yeah it's the other part of the tea box Here we have another fabric softener dragonfly here that I fussy cut. Little dress form there that was stamped and cut. It's another ribbon rose. I love these little vintage shoes. A little metal flower there. Some lane. The cinnamon there says beautiful dreamer. Another rosette made out of ribbon. A little vintage shoe. The spiral here you see here is um, just a bunch of wire I wrapped up together and strung some dragonflies on it. Cool. That's another handmade flower. our ballerina there with a beautiful outfit made out, out of feathers she is fabulous fussy cut a, a stamped image of a butterfly and then a watermark watercolor sorry <coughs> again fussy cut on a separate sheet of cardstock and water painted. Now this, um, every time I use my homemade glitter mist, I always do it on top of these uh, paper towels. But all the glitter mist stays on these paper towels and it's just a shame to um, throw them away. So I mod podge my paper towel onto my paper bag and it gave it this really cool, really textured look and feel to it. Plus it has all the yumminess from my homemade um, glitter mist here. Very sparkly. <clears throat> Nothing goes to waste. Everything gets used up. On this again it's a white tissue <clears throat> and then I stamped the word believe some fussy cut butterflies this is where this attachment here it's just a punched chipboard with a knotted piece of tool and this is the band that goes across and keeps my book shut. 
so there you have it guys thanks for your time for stopping by and checking out my videos uh stay tuned more to come bye